Welcome to Q&A Selling Online with answers to questions about creating an online empire, promoting products, or building a brand. Your host, private label and e-commerce entrepreneur, Quinn Amorm. Hey guys, welcome to the show. This is Quinn and you are listening to the QA Selling Online. And today I want to talk to you about brand new brands going to Amazon and starting an account and start selling on Amazon. So one of the brand new things that Amazon has changed in 2020 is that when you don't have brand registry, you will get an error when trying to upload a brand. So until now, you could create any brand that you wanted, even if it's not your brand, you could enter any brand name that you wanted and they would accept it. Now they have changed that. But there has been some advice that when creating a new account and you're listing a new product, when it comes to the place where they ask for your brand name, when you get that error, they're saying just enter something like generic or no brand. And let me tell you something, do not do that, okay? That's a mistake because when tomorrow, and tomorrow is just a figure of speech, but when in the future you do get your brand registry, you want to be able to go there and now you, you will have to request permission to Amazon to alter all those brands because the brand name will be locked and you will not be able to change it by yourself, okay? Now, the thing is, you do not have to enter generic. You can enter whatever brand name you want right now. You just need to prove that you have that brand to sell. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Seller Central. You're going to open a support case with Amazon. You're going to tell them on the title of your support case, say, branding code 5665. Okay, that's the branding code. That's the error that you're going to get. There's the 5665. Enter that in your title. Then when it comes to the description of your issue, make sure you enter the ASIN and make sure you enter that you want to whitelist the brand name and you enter the brand name that you want. Now make sure that you type it exactly that you want, exactly the way you want it to be typed. And you will always type it the same way because when Amazon register a brand, it will always be typed the same way. So if you're saying, for example, your brand name is Keto, okay, or Keto BHB, okay, Keto BHB. Now, if you do Keto space BHB and tomorrow you write it Keto BHB altogether, those are two completely br different brands. Now, if you write Keto, while the K is capitalized and nothing else is capitalized, that's a third brand. Now, if you write Keto space BHB and you capitalize the BHB, that is the fourth brand, right? So do not do that. Remember how you spelled it. When you do get a trademark and you will get your brand registry, now they will connect to each other because they're spelled the same way. If you spelled it different, it will not affect your existing listings. Remember that. If you have listings that you create today before you get brand registry, when you do get it and your, your brand registry was spelled different, it will not affect those listings. You would have to manually request Amazon to change every single one. All right, let's just avoid some issues here. Now, one more thing before I let you go. If you don't have brand registry yet and you're planning on getting a trademark, you a lot of people say that you apply, you're going to wait six, six to eight months to get your, your trademark then when you get your trademark, you're going to get your brand registry and blah, blah, blah. So that is also not correct. You, If you apply for a trademark right now, let's say, I don't know, if you know how to do it yourself and you spend 200 bucks to get your trademark, uh, you can do it today. You can get brand registered today before you get your trademark, okay? When you register your brand, of course... If you register a trademark and you don't know how to do it, you pay somebody to do it. Instead of the 200 bucks, it's going to cost you seven or 800 because you're going to pay for, the, for their work to do this. Now, as soon as it is done, you can get that registry code and apply for brand registry with that. Okay, let me tell you, it will in, or it should get approved uh, the same way at the same speed that it would if you had it. All right. Now, of course... They're gonna hold you to it, and of course, uh, there most of the most of the trademarks that are applied for uh, will get approved. But if it doesn't get approved for whatever reason, um, by then they'll probably remove it from you. So I don't know what happens if you don't get that trademark because that never happened to me. 
but I did apply recently for two of them with only the registration. So they are not trademarked yet, but I have the registration. And a few months from now, we're talking about six, seven, eight months, whenever it happens, I'm already brand registered. I already can build a store. I already have brand, uh, enhanced brand content on these two brand new brands, brand new brands, right? So that's something that, uh, by the way, just to make it more effective, I'm going to tell you where to do this so you don't have to go and look for it. So if you are ready, grab a pen and paper and write this down. Or if you have a big, strong memory, remember this. It's brandservices.amazon.com forward slash pending dash trademark dash request. So it's going to be brandingservices.amazon.com forward slash pending trademark request but with a dash between each word. All right, so branding services, pending trademark request. There's a form there. It's going to ask you what trademark office you registered at. And you, you only have two options. You're going to pick between the United States or India. That means the U.S. will accept an Indian trademark, okay? That's something if you, if you have an Indian trademark, you can put it in right now. You can get your brand registry with that, okay? Uh, your first name, your last name, email, the company name, and of course, the brand that you want to register. You fill that, you submit, you wait, and hopefully you get it. So everybody remember, start grateful, stay positive, and always profit.